Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about naming triangles by their sides. And we're on lesson 10.3, page 407. So in our previous lesson, we talked about uh, naming the triangle based on the measurement of its angles. And we can name a triangle by its angles by saying it's a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle. So today we're going to be talking about triangles just based on their side lengths. And so here we see this triangle. All the sides are five centimeters long. In this middle triangle, we see that the two sides are six centimeters long and the middle is three centimeters. Uh, sorry, the, the base of the triangle is three centimeters. And in our third one, we have four centimeters, seven centimeters, and nine centimeters. So we have a triangle with all three sides equal. We have a triangle with two sides equal. And then we have one that's no sides are equal. So triangles can have three sides that are the same length, two sides that are the same length, or no sides. And so let's use our three colors, red, orange, and blue to identify the following triangles just based on their side lengths. Okay, so we're gonna color any triangle red that has all three sides equal. Okay. So we're looking for side lengths that are all the same. Okay, this has two, eight, 10, seven, nine, nine, five, three, 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 three. So this one's, all three sides are equal. So color that one red. Uh, this one is all eight. Color that one. And then that one has all three sides different. Okay, color the ones that have two sides the same, two sides equal. So this one has two sides that measure seven inches. Eight, ten, seven, those are all different. This one has two sides that are nine. And then the third one is none, none of them are the same. Okay, so orange, we're going to color the triangles that have zero sides the same length. So these three are all different. The side lengths, that is, are all different. And four, five, six, so that one is all, no sides are the same. All right. Name the triangle that has no sides the same length. Well, here all the sides are the same. So it must be triangle B. Triangle B has side lengths of 5, 12, and 13. B, name the triangle that has three sides the same length. Triangle A. All right. Easy enough. All right, so now those three different triangles have special names. If all three sides are equal, we call that an equilateral triangle. Equa means equal. Lateral refers to sides. So all sides in the triangle are equal. Okay, let me see, four, four, four. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides. A scaling triangle is a triangle that has no sides equal. So these are three words we need to add to our glossary or to our flashcards, in our index cards that we're using as flashcards. We need to know those three names. All right, so now use a Venn diagram to classify the triangles. Well, you'll notice again, these triangles do not overlap. 
you can't be an equilateral triangle and an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle only has two sides that are equal. An equilateral triangle has three sides. A scaling triangle can't be either one of those because none of its sides are equal. Okay, so number, where do we put this one? Seven, eight, ten. None of them are the same, so that is a scaling triangle. So triangle ABC. This one, six centimeters, six centimeters, six centimeters. That's equilateral. All three sides are equal. So we'll name that triangle FGH. Remember, there's multiple names for these triangles. Okay, this one I see four, four, two. So that would be an isosceles triangle. T-U-V. All right, how about this one? Three, four, five. None of them are the same. So that would be a scaling. Uh, M and O. Triangle M and O. All right, here we have 11, 13, 14. Again, all of them are different sizes. So QRS, triangle QRS. And the last one, 9, 9, 9. That's equilateral. So I'm going to name that one triangle D, E, F. Okay, I have six triangles listed. There are six triangles here, so I've got them all. Page 409. Name the triangle at the right. Right equilateral, isosceles, or scaling. Okay, I see four, four, and three. So two of the sides are equal. That is, name the triangle. Okay, name the triangle. Oh, it's a it's a isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. Name the triangle right equilateral isosceles or scaling. Okay, two, two, two. All sides are equal. We'll call that equal. Lateral, equal sides. Three, four, five, no sides are equal. That would be a scaling. Six, six, eight, two of the sides are equal. Isosceles. Also, practice spelling these, these terms, these triangle names correctly. They're right there, okay? So if you can't remember, make sure you look up here just to spell them correctly and be able to say them properly. Equilateral, scaling, isosceles. All right, name the triangle. Equilateral, isosceles, scaling. Five, 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 equilateral. Five, five, three, isosceles. Three, four, six, scaling. Name the triangle by the length of its sides, right equilateral, isosceles, scaling. 12, 12, 12, equilateral. Four, six, six. Isosceles. Nine five seven scaling. Fourteen fourteen isosceles. Page four ten. Number twelve. The American crocodile's head appears to be shaped like a triangle. Classify the shape of the head by the lengths of its sides. Okay. 
Okay, so we probably need to get a ruler for this problem or some type of measuring. Like type of measurement, I mean. I'm going to use this piece of paper. And this side is in between those two. That side matches it. And this side is shorter. So these two sides are the same. So we're going to call that isosceles because two of the sides are equal. How are equilateral triangle and a scaling triangle alike? How are they different? Explain your answer. Well, they both have three sides, right? Both. Have three sides and three angles. How are they different? Equilateral triangles have the same length for all three sides. And scaling, none of the sides are equal. It's probably indicate the same, different. How are they the same? They both have three sides and three angles. How are they different? Equilateral triangles have the same length for all three sides, and scaling, none of the sides are equal. All right, 14. I am a triangle. Two of my sides are five inches long. My third side is less than five inches. None of my angles are right angles. What two names do I have? So, actually, that's kind of describing this one here. The, the alligator, I'm oh, sorry, the crocodile. So if we were to call this five and five, and let's call that four. I can't see that very well. Picture's too, too dark. But, all right, well, five, five, four. Let me draw it on, draw it out. Five, five, four. Okay. So what would that be? Well, if I named it based on just the shape of its angles, I say it would be an acute triangle. Okay. If I named it based on its sides, I would call it isosceles. So it's an acute isosceles triangle. How can a triangle be isosceles? and obtuse. Well, two of the sides would have to be equal. And one of the angles has to be obtuse. Select the lengths that identify a scalene triangle. Okay, scalene, no sides equal. Two, two, three, that's not scalene. Three, four, five, that's scalene. Six, six feet, six feet. No, those are all equal. Ten, seven, five. Okay, all those sides are different. Eight, three, eight. No, not all sides are different. Okay, so it's just. B and D. So that's that's it for naming triangles based on its sides. Okay, so let's review the words that we've had to this point so far, okay? So we need to be keeping track. We need to know these three words, equilateral, isosceles, and scaling triangles. 
we need to know acute triangle, obtuse triangle, and right triangle. So every triangle has two names, a name based on its angles and its sides. And we need to know right angle, straight angle, an acute angle, and obtuse angle. And angle in general, what's the definition of an angle? And the last page of definitions we have was point, line, line segment, and ray. Okay, so that's the first three lessons of definitions. So make sure we have those down and you're practicing uh, being able to say them and use them interchangeably. All right, so until our next lesson, may the numbers always be in your favor.